Have you heard of Ford? In my opinion, in today's world, whether you are highly interested in automobiles or not, one has heard the name of Ford somewhere or the other and might have a hint that yes, it's a brand for vehicles. Well, let me tell you, Ford has a significant global presence, with operations in over 200 countries and territories worldwide. It's one of the few automakers that truly spans the globe, with manufacturing facilities, research centers, and sales offices in diverse regions from North America to Europe, Asia, and beyond. So welcome back, folks. Today, we are back with a very absorbing video imparting information on seven ultra-rare Ford pickup trucks you've never seen. So get ready to delve into fascinating tales of these rare pickups. On number 7, we have the 1993 Ford F-150 SVT Lightning. Ford produced only a limited number of SVT Lightning trucks each year, making them relatively rare compared to standard F-150 models. This 1993 model of F-150 SVT Lightning was powered by a 5.8-liter V8 engine that produced significantly more horsepower and torque than the standard F-150 of its time and this specifically made it one of the fastest pickup trucks available during its production years. Wondering about its styling? Relax and embrace its looks, featuring a sportier appearance and enhanced aerodynamics. Its unique stylish cues, including special badging, unique wheels, and a lowered suspension, give it a more aggressive appearance compared to the standard F-150. Did you know? The 1993 SVT Lightning had a limited production run with only 11,563 units built during its first year of production, and this contributed to it being declared as a rare species. But it's next to impossible to deny that the SVT Lightning helped pave the way for modern performance trucks, demonstrating that pickup trucks could offer both practicality and exhilarating performance. Its success inspired subsequent generations of high-performance trucks from Ford and other manufacturers. On number 6, we have the Ford Pampa. The Ford Pampa is indeed an interesting model with a unique history. This pickup was exclusively produced and sold in Brazil during the 1980s and early 1990s. Believe it or not, it was designed specifically for the Brazilian market based on the Ford Corsell to meet the demands for compact pickup trucks. The Pampa was known for its versatility and practicality. It offered a spacious cargo bed at the back, making it suitable for transporting goods and equipment, while also providing seating for passengers in the front cabin. Like many compact pickup trucks of its era, it prioritized fuel efficiency and reliability, so it has engine specs like a 1.6-liter inline-four petrol engine, then a slightly larger 1.8-liter inline-four petrol engine, and in later years, it even offered a diesel engine option too. The strangest part of it unveils that unlike some other Ford models, the Pampa was not exported to other markets outside of Brazil, further contributing to its rarity outside of the country. So, of course, finding a well-preserved and original example of it today is a challenging task, making it a sought-after collectible for fans of vintage Ford vehicles. On number 5, we have the Ford Bantam. The Ford Bantam originated in South Africa in the 1980s. It was based on the Ford Escort platform, but designed as a compact pickup truck suitable for urban driving and light cargo transport. Here's a fun fact. The name Bantam is inspired by a small chicken breed known for its compact size. This reflects the truck's small dimensions and nimble nature. No doubt, the pickup offered impressive utility and versatility, and additionally had the most handsome looks, featuring a unique design that set it apart from other compact pickup trucks of its time. Its distinctive styling, with a front end reminiscent of the Ford Escort and a compact bed at the rear, made it instantly recognizable on the road. It's essential to note that engine specifications may vary depending on the model year, trim level, and market-specific requirements. While the Ford Bantam was primarily sold in South Africa, there were limited attempts to export it to other markets, including Brazil. However, these export efforts were not as successful, further contributing to its status as an ultra-rare find outside of its home market. Hey folks, if you're enjoying this video and want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. On number 4, we have the Ford Mercury M250. The Ford Mercury M250 was produced in limited numbers, making it a rare sight on the roads today. Its production spanned only a few years, adding to its exclusivity. What's unique about it? The design, which would surely impress you, features sleek lines, a bold grille, and stylish details that appeal to buyers looking for something different. Under the hood, the M250 boasted impressive performance capabilities, 
It was equipped with robust engines that delivered ample power and torque, making it suitable for various tasks, from hauling heavy loads to navigating rugged terrain. It is also known as a versatile workhorse. Would you like to know what makes it one? Then stay tuned as we disclose. It was available in different configurations, including various bed lengths and cab styles, catering to the needs of different buyers, whether they were using it for commercial purposes or personal use. And market, this pickup was produced during a period of significant change and evolution in the automotive industry, making it a valuable artifact of that era. On number three, we have the 1987 to 1990 Ford F-250 Bigfoot Cruiser. What's the origin of the Bigfoot Cruiser? Let's unfold it. The Bigfoot Cruiser was a collaboration between Ford and the legendary monster truck pioneer, Bob Chandler, who founded the Bigfoot monster truck team. It combined the ruggedness of the Ford F-250 with the larger-than-life appeal of Bigfoot monster trucks. This masterpiece was heavily customized with unique features, including oversized wheels and tires, custom suspension systems, distinctive paint schemes, and Bigfoot branding throughout the vehicle. Additionally, the upgraded suspension components and drivetrain enhancements made this monster capable enough to tackle rough terrain with ease. Stock engines in the Ford F-250 of that era typically produced horsepower ranging from approximately 130 horsepower for the inline-six engine to around 245 horsepower for the 7.5-liter V8 engine. They were commonly equipped with either a 4-speed automatic transmission or a 5-speed manual transmission. And if you want more, there is always the option of customization for each vehicle. Here's an interesting fact. The Bigfoot Cruiser became a pop culture icon during the late 1980s and early 1990s, appearing in various media outlets and gaining a following among fans of both Ford trucks and monster trucks. Sadly, they were produced in limited numbers, making it a rare find today. Only a handful were ever built, adding to its exclusivity and desirability among collectors and enthusiasts. On number two, we have the 1991 Ford Sky Ranger. Did you know? The Ford Sky Ranger was a concept vehicle designed to combine the ruggedness of a pickup truck with the versatility of a compact car. Its distinctive design featured a spacious cabin with seating for four passengers and a small pickup bed in the rear. One of the standout features of the Sky Ranger was its aerodynamic styling, which was ahead of its time in the early 1990s. The sleek lines and futuristic design elements helped reduce drag and improve fuel efficiency. Additionally, it boasted some advanced technology for its time, including electronic instrumentation, a digital dashboard, and integrated communication systems. While the Sky Ranger generated a lot of excitement when it was unveiled, Ford ultimately decided not to put it into production. As a result, only a handful of prototype vehicles were ever built, making it extremely rare to find one in existence today. Due to its rarity and unique design, the 1991 Ford Sky Ranger has become a sought-after collector's item among automotive enthusiasts. So, finding one in good condition is a rare and exciting discovery for fans of vintage and concept vehicles. And before we wrap up, if you're enjoying this journey through the rarest pickup trucks ever made, don't forget to show your appreciation by giving this video a thumbs up. Finally, on number one, we have the Ford Durango. The Ford Durango was originally conceived as an experimental concept vehicle in the late 1970s. It was based on the Ford F-Series platform and aimed to combine the utility of a pickup truck with the comfort and style of an SUV. The innovative aspects that set it apart from the crowd is its customizable nature. Buyers could choose from various options and features to tailor the vehicle to their preferences, making each Durango somewhat unique. Let's discuss its looks, which do matter at first sight. It had a boxy, angular design with a prominent grille and square headlights, giving it a rugged and utilitarian appearance. But did you know, despite its initial popularity as a concept, the Ford Durango never entered full-scale production. Instead, it was produced in limited numbers as a special order vehicle through select Ford dealerships. This limited production run contributes to its rarity. Hence, finding a well-preserved Durango in good condition is a challenge, further adding to its allure as an ultra-rare find. Yet, it is known to mark an era of experimentation and innovation in the automotive industry, making it a significant piece of automotive history. As we bring this journey to a close, we've delved into the captivating world of Ford's rarest pickup trucks. So, whether you're a die-hard Ford fan or simply curious about the world of classic trucks, we hope this journey has left you inspired and eager to explore further. Don't forget to tell us in the comments which pickup you like the most and would love to add to your bucket list. And while you're at it, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you'll never miss another video from us. 
We'll see you guys very soon with our next video. Until next time, keep the wheels turning and the spirit of exploration alive.